Hey guys, there are so many triumphs in Destiny 2 that it's very hard to keep track, let alone completing all of them. Despite all that, a few people in the Destiny community still complete everything every season. For those of us average Destiny players, we only complete what we can and sometimes we stumble into some triumphs where the instructions become a puzzle because what you need to do for said triumphs are not always obvious. A prime example of one such triumph is the Champion's Right triumphs for Season of the Chosen. Let's take a look at it. My name is Wes, thanks for being here and I cannot thank you enough for your time. Simply put, I appreciate you. If you're wondering why you should care about the champions right trials, well I'd say if you play Destiny then you must know that there are plenty of ways to enjoy the game. And a lot of things are tied together, especially when it comes to trials. If we go to the character menu, then trials, then Season of the Chosen, you will have the Battlegrounds tab and the General tab. Our focus today is mainly going to be the Battlegrounds tab because that's where we find the Champion's Right Triumphs together with its brethren Gladiator's Right, both of which we'll go over in this video. However, when I said earlier that a lot of things are tied together, let me show you what I mean by that and why Triumphs might be important to many Destiny players. For instance, if you want to obtain the chosen title for this season, meaning Season 13, you will need to complete the Bound in Memory Triumph. This triumph has 12 items for you to collect and is probably the one that is going to require most of your time if you want to get the chosen title. On top of that, everything is time gated, meaning only some parts are available on a weekly basis. Therefore, it will take you 12 weeks to complete the chosen title. If you're curious, you can find the Bound in Memory Triumphs in the General tab under Exotic Quests, which is essentially the Presage Exotic Quest mission. This means inside the Presage mission is where you have to complete a multitude of requirements for the chosen title. Basically, it's completing triumphs inside triumphs if you want the title. And my friend, you are highly encouraged to complete the Presage mission every week if you want the title. Makes sense, right? I hope so. Anyway, back on topic, the Battlegrounds tab has the following. Quest, Activities, and Gear. Gear is our focus and there are three triumphs in there. First, chosen mods. You just need to purchase the mods from the war table. They are available every week throughout the seasons. They will take them like every week. While we are inside the war table, also take notice of the hammer enhancements. There's a triumph to unlock all vendor upgrades. This is referring to the hammer enhancement, which is considered being a vendor, even though there is no NPC. So, if you unlock all the upgrades, you will have 21. As you can see, I have 18 unlocked so far. Just complete your seasonal challenges and you will be good to go. Again, this is an example of a lot of things are tied together in this game. Moving on, next we have Gladiator's Right. Defeat Cabals while wearing Season of the Chosen Armor. In case you didn't know, the Perfectus Armor set is the Season of the Chosen Armor and you need to kill 1,500 Cabals while wearing this armor set during Battlegrounds activities. Now, the fastest way to make progress with this triumph is to wear a full set of this armor. Although you don't have to wear a full set when doing this, it's just that your percentage goes up faster the more pieces of this Perfectus armor that you are wearing. As you may notice, the Triumph has 4 steps. Step 1, kill 75 Cabals. Step 2, kill 300 Cabals. Step 3, 750 Cabals. And Step 4, 1500 Cabals. Now, the game does not show you all this information. You have to go to Destiny Companion app or other third party apps like Destiny Item Manager to see all this information. Now, one thing to note is that some of the Battlegrounds missions have more Cabals than others. For instance, on Nessus, Battlegrounds Oracle has a lot more Vex than Cabals, whereas Battlegrounds Behemoth has mostly Cabals and only a few Vex sometimes in the beginning. So if you want to get this done fast, select those battlegrounds with more cabals for the gladiators right triumphs, but there's a caveat. But that is not the best approach. Moving on to the champions right triumph. Defeat battleground champions while wearing season of the chosen seasonal armor. This works different than the gladiators right triumph. In order for you to see any progress, you need to wear at least 4 pieces of the perfectus armor set. 
you will not progress faster following the full set but if you want to replace a piece with one of your favorite exotics then you can do that unlike the gladiators right triumphs you will only make progress by doing battlegrounds mission via the vanguard directory so knowing all that the faster way to complete both triumphs is number one wear a full set of the perfectus armor if you have it number two launch the battleground mission via the vanguard directory because if you use the destination battleground as i mentioned before there will be no champions for you to kill number three why are you doing this in matchmaking you don't have to be the one that kills the champion but you have to make sure you do some damage to the champion it doesn't matter if you do damage with your guns or abilities you just need to make sure you hit the champion to get credit for the kill so pay attention to when champions appear on the battleground just always check the left side of your screen it'll always say champions appear or something Thing like that now by doing all these things you are in essence trying to kill two birds with one stone in the fastest way possible now what if you've been deleting your perfectus armor because you think they ugly or the stats they come with kind of suck well my friend here's what you need to do number one check your season pass to see if you have any armor left that you have not claimed number two you can run battleground missions and pray that RNG will hook you up with some of those armors Number three, the most guaranteed way is via the prismatic recaster inside the helm. But you will need some hammer charges which you get from completing battlegrounds activities. You also need some umbral engrams and legendary shots for the transaction. So inside the prismatic recaster, try the chosen regalia focus engram option. That's the cheapest option for a guaranteed perfectus piece of armor but you don't know which piece you're going to get. So RNG is your best friend for this option. The other most guaranteed way to get Perfectus armor is tier two focusing. It's more expensive, but you can buy the exact piece that you might be missing. It will cost you three hammer charges, 10 legendary shards, and one umbral engram. Whether you need a helmet, a pair of gauntlets, a chest armor, leg armor, or class armor, so long as you have the materials, you are good to go. Now obviously there are other ways to get the Perfectus armor for Season of the Chosen like RNG but the ways that I mentioned are the best way that I know. Please let us know in the comment section if you know something different it's always helpful with your feedback. Anyway guys this was the Champions Right and Gladiators Right Triumphs video. I hope this was helpful and if it was please hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, share or subscribe I will be most appreciative. Thanks for watching, see you guys later. Remember to wash your hands Remember to wash your hands